and in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to color grade with selective color so let's get started with the video So guys, and if you have before continue with this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And also remember to turn on my notifications to be notified whenever I drop a new video. Now in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I color grade, how I color grade this image selective color and give you guys tips on color grading selective color and how selective color works. So let me guys show you guys a little bit before and after this image here. Yeah? This before and this after. Now my last tutorial was on um smoothing of clothes with wrinkles now as you can see this is more smoother than the last tutorial because i did extra adjustments on the um high frequency layer so if you don't get how i did this you can check my last tutorial if you want to learn how to um get rid of wrinkles on clothing now back to selective color now um let me go back to my selective color this without the selective color and with the selective color so you can see how much the selective color has really transformed this image and um kind of effect it gives it so i went for that little bit of you know like an extra vintage kind of look for this image here so um let me tell you guys basically let me go through the different colors here and tell you what i did so most times so let's say color i don't usually have um, a particular look in mind so most times what i did when i what, what i do here when i feel like an image is losing something I just actually just go through the colors I feel need adjustments and just play around with it. So these are my reds. Now reds, when you are um, adjusting reds and yellows, you are looking at your skin tones and the skin colors in the image. Now um, removing um, cyans from your red will give you more red. So if you add more cyans, you get more cyans in your reds. So this affects all the reds in the image. So what what I usually do is just reduce the cyan a bit, and to get more reds in the skin on the shadows, move the magenta and add a little bit of yellows in the um, reds as well. So if you adjust your black, it kind of like reduces the contrast of that particular color. So you see, all my reds have been aff affected. If you increase it, it, kind of like gives the punches the red up a bit more. So I usually just leave my red. I usually just leave my black at zero. So moving on to yellow, I didn't do anything on yellow. I did a little bit on green. I reduced the cyan, uh, magenta, and yellow to give. When you do this, I kind of like can kind of give the green. You add a little bit of blue to the green. If you're moving yellow from the green, you're making the green look a little bit more kind of like bluish. If you add cyan, it looks bluish. So depends on what works for you. So it's mostly like color combinations and understanding how color works so once you understand how colors work here yeah, it really help you in your um color grading process with selective color so yeah um i'm going to move over to my um cyan there's no cyan there so i didn't do any adjustment here my blues i basically just play with here cyan's i move my distance and yellow to give it more of that aqua blues now there isn't much of blues here just a little bit of blues in the highlights like i like to add a little bit of blues in the highlights so those are the blues i just wanted this to affect it isn't even much yeah so i'm going to move over to my um white now the many adjustments i did here were on my neutrals and my blacks this is where most of this you know faded look comes from now moving on to my neutrals i do to the sands like i don't usually make my adjustments harsh i like to keep it as minimal as possible so most times i just go around Play with colors and know what to work for this so i did some sands in the um, neutrals and then um yellow as well and black so if you remove yellow from here you're getting blue if you add if you um add yellow you're getting yellow so it's like the opposite of that color yeah so just the opposite of each color that you be adding here yeah. so to understand this more yeah, move out to my black so just like your tone curve works if you add it to your blacks, you get this in your blacks. If you remove it, you get this red. So, but I just added a bit. The magenta, you remove magenta, you get green. If you add magenta, you get exactly magenta itself. So, actually, I just removed a little bit of magenta to give it that you know, greenish 
to have a little bit of greens in the shadows so when making adjustments to your blacks and make it basically making adjustments to the shadows and this is where most of the feel of the image really comes from so also removing yellow add a little bit of blue to the shadows so if you want that bluish tones in your shadows this is where you go and this is where you like kind of like reduce the yellows and you get those tones in your shadows depends on what you go for now reducing the blacks now also gives it this you know faded vintage looks i was going for a bit of that so yeah that's why i did the adjustments there so i also reduce opacity so it's gonna be like the adjustments will be a little bit more be more minimal in this image so this is before selective color after selective color so that's the quick tutorial uh, this is the quick tutorial and tip on working with selective color now if you like this video be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up it really helps the channel i'll see you guys in the next one bye